So this is big news, man. Uh, I'm going to tell you why this is real big news. Canelo Alvarez has officially started doing things that no other boxer has done. Um, it's re being reported right now that he's turned down $110 million from Turkey Alashit to face Terrence Crawford, which could have been December, February, whatever date they wanted. I know Canelo was trying to fight three times this year. And with that now being some plans that's not going to go through, that's going to hurt a lot of things that's going on in boxing right now. Because I'm going to tell you why. A lot of things are being discussed about uh, size, age, is Terrence Crawford big enough? Um, and it's starting to show that other boxers who are actually moving up in weight are being robbed of their legacy in their career while Canelo Alvarez doesn't have to move up in weight or uh, have to move down or have to fight somebody at a certain weight. or uh, I mean, it's different standards for other people. Because nobody ever asked, hey, Canelo, you got to move up to 60 to fight Triple G. Nobody asked that. Before that fight was even discussed, they were talking about Floyd Mayweather and um, uh, Floyd Mayweather and Triple G. They wasn't thinking about Canelo and Triple G. They've had three Triple G fights, and now all of a sudden, Canelo Alvarez is worth $110 million a fight. For what? $110 million? Nobody could turn down $110 million. Floyd had to turn down $50 million. That's why he's still fighting now. And people say, man, Floyd's still fighting for money. All he cares is about is money. Seems like Canelo, all he cares about is money. Starting to rub off on him a lot. He thinks he's Floyd now. Doing the same type of things. I know I got the same type of energy. I know I'm saying the same things I was saying when Floyd was uh, fighting. I'm not saying anything different now because uh, it's Canelo. I was saying the same thing with uh, Floyd fought Canelo. When Floyd fought Canelo, I said, why are you fighting him? You're trying to get an easy payday. He's 23 years old. We have other boxers out here who's ready. I said, you waited this long to fight a 23-year-old and all this other stuff. And people was like, oh, he's going to get washed by uh, Canelo. You must don't know. He's the next great fighter. And Canelo went out there and got washed. And for some reason, people thought that Triple G, after getting beat by Canelo, the same guy who couldn't do nothing against Floyd, they thought, oh, Triple G would be better than Canelo against Floyd. Triple G doesn't even move up in weight. He's been, he was at the same weight for uh, all the, his whole career. Didn't want to go up 15 pounds for Andre Ward. Why are we rewarding these guys who's not trying to do anything? Mexican fighters have been asking for uh, Crawford versus Canelo for years now. At least uh, a year and a half, two years. They've been asking for Canelo. Not Mexican fans in America. Not Mexican-American fans. Mexican fans have been asking, ask Munguia and all these other guys who they've been asking Canelo to fight. He knows. He's from Mexico. Mexican fans have been asking for Canelo to fight those type of guys. Crawford, Benavidez. They actually want, this is last year in America, they just now asking for Canelo and um, Charlo and all those other guys to fight uh, Crawford. Mexican fans was asking for that last year. They asked for Crawford and Benavidez. They said, we want to see Crawford first, then Benavidez. Now, for some reason now, American fans and reporters, they're trying to sneak that over here now and say, oh, yeah, we want to see Crawford and Canelo. That's old news. That's old news. Very old. You think if Floyd was fighting right now, he's 33 years old, we wouldn't say, hey, Floyd, we want to see you fight uh, Terrence Crawford. And Floyd's the same guy who fought Canelo. And people are saying, oh, well, size matters now. They didn't say that when Deontay Wilder was fighting almost 300-pound heavyweights. When did size start mattering? Why, why do we have higher standards in America for our own fighters than everybody else does in other countries? Mexico, they have high standards for their fighters. So I'm not going to say Mexico uh, is like that. They have high standards for their fighters. But nobody else does. It seems like it seems like everybody else is just there for the ride. If their guy wins, if they don't, they're gonna go away quietly, like all these other fighters uh, fans have. You notice, uh, out of all these guys who lost this year, from uh, Matias to Pitbull Cruz um, to Tyson Fury, uh, what, who's the only fans that stuck around for their fighter after they lost? Devin Haney. Because you know why? We know what the high standards are. We know what the risks are. We know these guys aren't invincible. And, he's, and that's not really a loss because the guy was taking PEDs. But, and that's, de that's definitely not a loss. It's not a, it's not an official loss. It never was a loss. All it was was uh, some credibility for fans. But 
if they can look past, if y'all can look past Canelo losses to um, Floyd Mayweather and Bilbo, then the crappy fights he had against Jacobs, where people felt like he lost, Laura, which they felt like he lost, Trout, which they felt like he lost, and Trout had to, they did, man, come on, man. Like, let's be honest. $110 million? That dude ain't worth $110 million. He ain't. Mike Tyson still selling more than Canelo is right now. And that's a fact, without a crowd. That's why Netflix went to uh, 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 Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson and said, we'll make a fight with you. We'll make a fight with you because we've seen your numbers. We've seen your real numbers. See, Netflix, they seen Canelo, Canelo real numbers. And they seen Mike Tyson real numbers. And they seen Jake Paul real numbers. And guess what they told Jake Paul? Yeah, we'll have a fight with you, Jake Paul. Not unless you have Mike Tyson available. If Mike Tyson's not going to be in the fight, we're not having no Jake Paul fight. Because you don't got the numbers, buddy. Everybody has the numbers now. Like, all these little fake pay-per-view numbers they putting out now, they're not real numbers. Everybody's starting to feel like, realize that now. That's why Turkey Alley Sheep was trying to tell y'all, hey, Crawford a megastar. Because I, the, the people y'all talking about their sales in boxing, these guys aren't selling. They're really not. They're not. Turkey Alley Sheep went straight from the Tyson Fury Usyk card. And ever since that Tyson Fury Usyk card, what, is it, what has he been doing? He's been putting more Americans on the cards. He's been putting more Americans on the cards. And a lot of guys from America right now are not budging as far as taking these big fights. And it's getting exposed. A lot of people tell me, oh, this guy's ducking, man. Your favorite fighter is ducking. All this stuff. Favorite fighters and everything else. The ducking word. Turkey Alla Sheets basically exposed all that. I told people months ago he was going to expose that ducking stuff. I got videos and lives. I was talking about that last year. Bro. Canelo is getting exposed. He turned out $100 million, $110 million, something Floyd maybe, uh, Floyd could never do in uh, America. He would never be able to turn down $110 million to fight Canelo or anybody. And the money don't even matter because I've never counted money when it came to a Floyd fight. I knew how much he was getting paid and everything else because they put it out there, but that wasn't the reason I was watching the fight. I was watching Floyd before he even uh, started making a lot of money when he wasn't even on pay-per-view. So that, that wasn't the reason why I was watching him. And at this point right now, Canelo being the best ain't the reason why people are watching him. It ain't, it, that's not the reason, because he's not the best. If he was the best, he would have won uh, against Bilbo against Floyd Mayweather. If Floyd would have lost against Canelo and he would have lost against Pacquiao, he wouldn't be able to sit up here and say, I'm turning down $110 million and that uh, I can do what I want. Nobody ever told Floyd he could do whatever he wanted in his career. Never. Canelo comes to a whole other country where he, do, where he does, doesn't benefit anything for boxing. Hasn't helped grow boxing. Most of the guys he fought fight is not from America. So, yeah, he's not helping anything. He's just benefiting. He's Robin Hood right now. He's And he's taking the uh, everything that he's uh, getting right now, he's taking it to himself. Because he's not creating anything that's in Mexico right now. Yeah, he fights for Mexico. Yeah, he uses that. He uses the Mexican people to get their money and their everything else. But he's not producing anything. Not pushing the sport forward. He's not pushing Mexican boxing forward. One hundred and ten million dollars, and he turned it down. No other American fighter could turn down one hundred and ten million dollars. But this guy sitting around, he turned down stuff, and people are, and he got losses, and he got uh, possible robberies on his resume, and you did not triple G out after three tries, and he was old. He was forty years old. The last fight. Stop it, please stop it. That's all I got. Like and subscribe.